Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Fireside Thoughts. Hey everyone and welcome to day number 23 of Fireside Thoughts. Only two more days till the big day, number 25. You know, to be a person of wonder is to be a person who is open to being surprised. Have you ever been surprised by the faithfulness of a friend who will stick with you through thick or thin? Maybe this person is a parent or a grandparent or a friend from school, a friend from church, maybe even a youth leader. No matter who it is in your life, these faithful friends are priceless. And there aren't many blessings in the world that are better than a friend who won't give up and won't give in. As we're wrapping up, focusing on the wonder of the Christmas story, maybe it's good that we're finishing with a verse from Luke 2, verse 22 to 32. Because this passage is all about not giving up. It's all about not flaking out, and it's about being faithful. Let's read it. Luke 2, 22, verse 32 says, when the time of their purification according to the law of Moses had been completed, Joseph and Mary took him, Jesus, to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every firstborn male is to be consecrated to the Lord and to offer a sacrifice in keeping with what is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of doves or two young pigeons. Now there is a man in Jerusalem called Simeon, who was a righteous and he was righteous and devout. He was waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not die before he had seen the Lord's Christ. Moved by the Spirit, he went to the temple courts. When the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him what the custom of the law required, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God, saying, Sovereign Lord, as you have promised, you now dismiss your servant in peace. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of all people, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and for glory to your people Israel. Okay, first let's look at the faithfulness of Mary and Joseph. In this passage, we can see them respecting their spiritual traditions of their people, the Jews. But more than this, Mary and Joseph have proven faithful throughout the whole story of Jesus' birth. They never wavered. And look at the faithfulness of Simeon. Simeon served day in and day out, waiting, longing for a savior. He never ever gave up. He eventually had his faithfulness rewarded. Finally, God proved faithful in a variety of ways. He followed through with the promise of a Messiah, and he was faithful in rewarding Simeon's service. Faithfulness is literally all over the story. Being faithful is one of the best qualities we can have. And we model God when we are faithful because God is perfectly faithful in all ways. And our call is to be faithful to him. It's tempting to view our relationship with God as something that we can flick on or off depending on our surroundings. But faith doesn't work this way. Even though the road may get rough, we have to stay faithful to God. After all, God is faithful to us in every way possible, so it's the least we could do to return the favor. Now I'll just leave you with a couple things that you can think about over the next day. Number one is, how over this holiday season have you seen your faith grow? Number two, what are some areas in your life where you could start committing more to being faithful to God? All right, guys, that is it for today, and I hope to see you again back here tomorrow. 